Today's webinar will be around about an hour and we'll show you how to um, use PowerDirector to edit your videos and with our brand new um, AI style plugin um, we will show you how to turn your videos into a classic of art. Okay, so um, let's have a look what's in today's webinar. At first, um, just in case you are new to PowerDirector, um, we will have a quick walk through the, the, the UI introductions and show you like where you can find all the tools and how do you how, how, how you can import your videos. And the second, we will try to teach you how to create a cinematic titles by using our title designer. And also we will mention how to use our mask designer to create a, like a, a very certain effects. And also with a, a new, brand new AI style plugin, you can turn your videos into like very artistic painting style. And also we'll mention if you are not very good at your like video editor and there's a express project you can use and you can create a very awesome animations for your video just in minutes. And also the last, um, we will show you how to master your slow motion, how to create a very smooth slow motion in PowerDirector. Okay, so um, whenever you open your PowerDirector, you will see this uh, this UI interface. And on your right hand side, you will see this is a preview window. And on the left, there's a project panel and all the toolbox can see there's a media room, effect room, and particle room, title, transition. And on the bottom, you will see there's a timeline, and also there's all different tracks you can use. There's an audio track and also video track. And just like a layer, you can just apply a different layers on, on, onto each one. Okay, so um, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, as you can see on the right, this is a preview window. And if you have an extended monitor, you can click on this icon, just untuck the preview window, which means you can drag this screen to your another monitor and make them full screen. So you have another uh, very full screen uh, preview window you can see. And while you are doing the preview, you can also simply just double click on the preview window. So that will also make them make it just like full screen. And you can press ESC to bring them back. And on the left, you will see this uh, media room and your, your project information. That's where you import all your video and also your audio. And on the bottom, you'll see there's a uh, timeline. That's where you can use the, all the different tracks. And PowerDirect supports up to 100 tracks. And each track include one for video and one for audio. So let's have a look what's inside the toolbox here. So the first one is Media Room, and you can import your video by click on File and Import, and you can import media files or media folder, or you can simply just open up your folder and drag your video into the Media Room. And the second is um, Effect Room. So I say if you want to transfer your video into black and white, or maybe make them blur, and you can just drag the effect and onto the video. So now this, this video just turned blurry. And if you undo this step, you can click on undo icon just on the top here or control Z. So that will do the same thing, just undo um, the last step. And next is the uh, video overlay room. So we have a bunch of um, great animation graphics you can use. So just click on that one and you see the, the, the preview. And if you want to use each of them, you can just select the the graphics here and just drag them into the, the different track, let's say track number two, so that then you can change the size and also even rotate. Then once you play, so that would be that would be another tracks and just an, a graphic just over there on the onto your video. And next is particle room. So particle room, there's also we have a bunch of different um, special effects you can you can apply. Let's say you want to go to maybe this this shimmer effect. You can also just drag them to track number three and just 
Let's turn it on. So now the video will have, will have this kind of particle effect. Next is title room. So title room, when you go when you go to the old content, we also have a great um a very very useful template you can use, and you can simply just change the text inside. And I will just take uh, the pre previous one I just made. It's very simple, just plain text. I will just drag to the timeline here. So now we our video have a text on the track number two. And so this is the title room. And next is the transition room. So in the transition room, we also have so many different options you can use. You can click on each one and just see how, how it works. And how, how do we apply the, the transition? So once you select the, the transition you would like to apply, just drag your transition in between the two, your two clips. And now you can play. So now we have a, a perfect transition. And also the next is about audio. There's an audio mixing room. And also this one is for if you want to do it the voice over and you can use this tool to record your audio. And also we have chapter room. That's for if you want to make uh, your, your video into a DVD. And also a subtitle room. So, so that's all the different tools you will find in PowerDirector. Um, we will cover that in a later, in a, a bit later in uh, in this course. Okay, so now we know how to use tracks and how to import um, the different like um, PF object or particle or text, a title into the video. Okay, then we need to know how to trim your video. So trim your video is also very simple in PowerDirector. Let's say I want to trim from maybe from this part. Start from this part. Now I will just select the video and this uh, split icon. You can click on split. Then I will just delete, delete, delete this one. And this uh, trash trash bin icon here. Let's remove the selected clip. You and once you click on that one, they will ask you you want to remove and leave the gap or remove and fill the gap. And for this case, I would think I would just do remove and fill the gap. So easy, it's easier for me. So I don't have to select all the video and move them to the to the front line. So now we just click and uh, how, know how to trim the video and apply the the transition. And also, if you want to add your background music, you you can just drag your music and into the the video track here. And how to trim the music is it's just the same method we use to trim the audio uh, the video so we can just split and just delete um, by filling gap so now we have the audio here and i can just extend this to the top a little bit so now we have a, a very simple two clips and between And between two clips, we, we add a transition. And also, this very useful tool we, I, I like to mention because um, you can see this video, I think it's a bit too flat. So that's why we have to maybe adjust the color or just make, just make them um, a bit better, just enhance it. So once you select the, the video here, you can click on Fix and Enhance. So that's where you can find a different tools to fix or enhance your video. Let's say if you had a shaky video, you can just take on the video stabilizer. So that will just make stable your video. And also um, for this video, I can do maybe do some color enhancement. And also I can change the white balance. So this is where you can find all the different tools you can do some color grading of your footage. Maybe you can add some contrast or add some saturation. And for PowerDark 16, we also support um, lots um, for like a lookup table. So you can click on look table file and you can just apply a different lots into your video. So that will change your video instantly and it's very good and it's very easy as well. And you can also check our description below. We also 
found some um, gray locks is free of uh, personal use so you might have to check it out and just download and just give it a try okay so so that's very um, very simple to introduce like how to you import your video to the power director and how to um, trim your video and add your music and just like things like that Okay, so now we're just going back to the next topic. And next, now we know how to manage the timeline and how to add text and how to um, trim your videos. Now we're going to create uh, cinematic titles. And what's the best way to create a cinematic title? Is I think it's very easy. Just you you need to find the cinematic fonts because that will just looks right. Um, with your video. So here uh, I collect my uh, favorite five of the fonts that I, I, I normally use for my video and they just look great and they, they're very um, cinematic looks like. So the first one is Avenir and this kind of announcer um, title is very, uh, it's very elegant in design and it's always catch your eyes. And the next is Baron Nui. And this one is also my favorite as well. So it's uh, very similar like the previous one. It's not several fonts. And these two I use a lot for, for, for the video. And next I'm going to show is um, Skyer. And I think this font is great if you are doing like a very like sci-fi films. Um, like uh, if you're shooting an, an alien story or you shoot like architecture. I think this is great type of fonts you can use. And next is Blur. And this is also, if you're looking for a slightly very interesting fonts, I think normally I would choose this one. And the next is Goldeny. And this is this is serif fonts. And you will see this kind of um, PM, a lot of like different magazine cover and also um, great titles. They they also use these fonts a lot. Okay, so that's my um, five of the favorite fonts I normally use for 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 the video. So the first one is Avenir, and the second one is Baranui, and the third one is um, Skyer, and then the fourth one is um, Blur, and the last one is um, Goldeny, and you also. And can download these all fonts from the description below. We have a link to this kind of um, um, gray fonts you can use. And before we're going to create this kind of cinematic titles, we need to um, show you how to use keyframe in PowerDirector. And what is keyframe? Keyframe is like you can set from the start to the end of the animation of your object and in between so they will they will become a, a motion on you will apply a motion on it so let's say i want this ball from uh, from the start is um, the the this ball might be on the left but after five seconds this 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 ball need to go to the right so that's how you why you need to set the keyframe and what can be controlled by keyframe so first, the first part is PIB object, object like um, the one we used for for the for the video. If you go to the the video overlay room, there's a, a bunch of different graphics you can use. Then you can use key, keyframe to um, to control where what's its position and its scale and also its opacity. And also next is titles, because later we will use keyframe to change the scale of the titles and maybe even opacity then also effects when you apply a keyframe to the effects you can change the strength and also the detail and also the different density and then this uh, next one is particle effect because you can use keyframe to control their colors and also their movement movement and also the density and also you can use that to to apply to the fix and enhance tools because you can change different strength and also the the enhancement degree as well All right so let's go back to the power thread and we're going to create some cinematic titles 
Okay, let's have a look what we're going to create for today. And the first, we will just create a very simple. You can choose a nice font and apply some a fading effect. So it's very simple and elegant like this. And another one, I found some um, um, free free of personal use the audio uh, the video, kind of like a space video. And I think it's great for the the maybe the the opening of your video. And also we will add a title and use the keyframe and to change the scale of the font. Just make the font maybe from a bit a bit smaller and to a bit bigger. And the third one, um, we are going to create like a, a use a mask and apply to a, a text, and that can create a very uh, a very interesting effect, effect like this. So, and we will also introduce a bit about the mask, mask designer and show you how to create um, the special effect like this. So let's start from the, the very basic one. And we will also show you how to use the title designer. So when we select the title here, and we can go to all content, then we can just simply drag a default setting into the timeline. And for for this vid, this this effect, I think I'll add just maybe a, a a simple plain black background. So I can go to the the media content here. So I select the media room and also media content, and I can click on that one. So now you can see there's another option called color boards. So this is how you can add some a different color of the background into uh, for your video. So I can just drag the, the black one inside to the track number one, and I can extend the length of the this background. And I'm going to change this text I can just double click on the on the on the on the text here, so that will enter the title designer. And once you're inside the title designer, um, you can turn up this kind of character presets. This already have a bunch of different template you can use your for for your font. So let's say if you like this one, then you can select this one and change the text. For now, I just make them maybe make them simple. Now I change the the font first. Then I can change to the text maybe to cyberlink percent. And I can change the size of the this text. And if you right click on the text on the string you can align to horizon center and also do it again then you can align to the vertical center so that just makes sure your text is always will be the center of your video and also inside the title designer you can show the shadow and when you turn 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 on the shadow you can set the distance and also you can create a field shadow and the distance and I can change the color from here so that create a different kind of fill shadow for your text. Okay, so I just deselect this first. And also you can create a reflection of your text. Then next we are going to add some effect. That's what we say uh, we're going to apply a like a fading effect, very simple but fade fading effect to this this text. So we select the effect here. Then you will find here has a starting effect and also ending effect. You can click on this icon. So now we have a bunch of different animations you can use for your text. You can also just simply click on the, the different effect and see which one suits you and which one you prefer. And I can scroll down. There's some other different options you can use. Yeah, okay. Now I found it. I'm going to apply a fade. And you can also change the length of the fade because now the fade is duration is three seconds. So I can change to maybe maybe make them into just like one and fifteen, one and a half seconds. Then you can preview again. So now we have this kind of fading effect. 
and once you're done you can click OK then your first title is just done it's very easy okay and next we're going to show you how to use a keyframe for your text so like we saw on the on the second video um, I will drag this kind of space video as our background then I'll go to title room then select maybe default or the, the text you already, you, already, you already made and just drag into the track number two and now I'm going to double click again so we will enter the title designer and the first thing I'm going to change this title to maybe cinematic title and I will make them a bit smaller and now just right click just make them align to the horizon center and also the vertical center and you can also change the space of the your text from here okay so now we have the text already but the thing is it's not moving so we need to change the scale by using keyframe so I'm showing you how to how to change a key, uh, how to add a keyframe on your text so select this the, the text on um, here then there's uh, object setting so I'll turn on the object setting so now you can see um, there's a position scale and also the opacity and if you go to a timeline the title timeline here and you can click on this one so now you can see there's nothing nothing here because we haven't add any keyframe so I'm going to going back to the object setting I'm going to click the scale if you're going to do the position as well you can click on the position but now the first thing we need to set the start of the the text so we set the the first keyframe and then next we're going to decide uh, maybe the movement can be like five seconds so I go to maybe uh, five seconds here then I can change the scale so now the scale is it's like 100% I can maybe make them to 120 so now you can see um, the text is being bigger and now we can just preview so now you can see the text is maybe is um, the size is from 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 100% to 120% and we're going to create a very smooth movement because sometimes it just looks very unnatural and not smooth so I can go to the scale and also start go to the start of the keyframe and you can right click and you can take easy out because because that's the first one so we do easy out and at the end of the keyframe I can right click on it and I can do easy in. then you can play again so it's very detailed because this um, once you do the easy in and easy out and all the movement looks very smooth and so after you've done this you can click OK and let's play again so that's how we use keyframe to add the animation and we use this title as a yeah you can use this one so we just want to change the size from a bit smaller to a bit bigger and you can also use keyframe to change the opacity or even rotate your 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 your, your title as well Okay, so that's the 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 second font, the second title we, we just used. And next we're going to use the the max the max designer to create this kind of title effect. Okay, so at the same thing I'm going to add a plain background. So I'm going to media content and color boards. 
select this one and I will change the length of the background here okay so now next we're going to go back to our media room so if you want to start to do th those kind of uh, mask title effect you need to use your different videos or maybe um, a, a photo something like that and like say this one so I can drag the video to the second of the timeline and I will select the video and go to designer and click on mask designer so for max designer is normally you can change the mask then you can decide um, what kind of layout you're going to show to uh, of your video let's say you can use the the the, the shape of heart so your your video will be looks like this and also there are a different um, shape you shape, uh, shape you can use or you can load your own image that can be only like a black and white different kind of shape image so you can show this kind of different mask or you can simply just create a mask if you create a mask you can just click on here and now that will show the, the different text you can use that's how we use for that kind of effect I can go select like maybe you then I'll do the same thing just go to horizon center then I can click OK so now that's done it only takes you maybe a few minutes and you can I will click OK so now we have the first like mask this kind of title here that I can uh, trim it make them a bit shorter then I can add another one you can do the same thing go to designer and a mask designer then we do it again we go to create mask here then we type only and make them in the center okay so now we have our two different type of forms here and once you dump all the different text and you add a little bit your your own music and you play it will be looked like this so I think that will be a very strong finish of your video or you can do that as an opening as well and you can also change the different like background you can use you can even select use this one as as a background so you can see you can there's a lot bunch a lot of bunch of things you can you can try on this kind of effect okay so that's the um, three of the the great tools we can use for creating these kind of cinematic titles so now we know how to add a keyframe to your text and how to use the mask designer to create those kind of different effect next we're going to show you how to use mask designer to create um, a different video effect we call it like a time control effect All right let's go back to another project let's have a look uh, what we are going to create for this kind of effect right so so basically uh, how to do this kind of effects like you need to shoot um, two different layers of the video so let's have a look on the track number one so this one is only the steel thing only the background so now you can see just the background and we have another video it's a man with the movement it's the, the one he click on the watch all right so now we can use the mask to to mark like this area so make them like a two separate layers then we can only change the background of the video and change the speed 
so how do we do that we can click on the video here the the track number number two and we click on the designer and mask designer once we were entering the the mask designer we can we need to select the 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 mask first i just choose the full size of the the plain white mask and i can scroll down i will just um, select this one main term mask aspect ratio so now i can change the different size of this mask now i just need to cover this up all right just a little bit here maybe a bit smaller okay now so you can just preview first so now it's being separate once you go, click OK, and you can see a different one side. Just like the um, number one, you can see. So the, the the track number two only shows this size of the video here. That's how we um, change the, the the speed, but it doesn't affect on the the the, the front of the there. Then I just need to only wait till it hit this watch here then I can trim the the track number one the background video then it's start from this movement I need to change the speed of this video so next we're going to show you how to like adjust the v the, the speed of your video so I can click on this footage I can go to tools then there's a power power tools so now you can see there's a video speed then click on speed adjustment then this uh, speed slider you can you can select I think I'll maybe three times faster than this one so now you can see the the new video duration is a bit it's a bit faster I can click OK so now you can see this this video is already adjusted the the media is being a bit faster than the, the previous one And then I can apply another effect. Create I like a, a delay delay effect. So delay. I can just apply to the another the video here. So let's play again. So now you can see there's two different now just very simple like that. And last thing I just need to maybe change the color a bit because I think this video is all also a bit too flat and I can just apply uh, another lot file and from the background video I will also need to apply to the same lots okay apply to all so now you can just play back again so now you can see the difference so that's how, how, how this effect has been done. And it's very simple because you can use this method to create a different, a lot of different bunch of ideas you can use. We simply just use the mask designer and just mask, mask, mask these guys out. Then you can change the, the speed or maybe different color or different um, transition or different effect onto the video. Okay. Okay, so we already done this, and next we're going to show you about our brand new AI style plugin and packs, which will which, which we can turn your videos into art. So um, we were inspired by a movie called Loving Vincent, and now we have trained our AI style engine to analyze your footage frame by frame, and you apply brush strokes so that your videos will look like so the hand like hand painted by a master artist. Now we have Van Gogh AI style pack and also an impressionist AI style pack, which can you can use to apply to different type of uh, painting skills. And let's have a look how to use it. Let me go back to the another project.
So you can literally just use any of your footage, then you can transform them into like a different like painting style. Right, so let's have a look and how, how do we use this kind of plugin. And I will just find our footage here. So let's say this one. And I want to change that into a certain a pending effect. Select this one first. Right, if you have the the, the AI style content, uh, content pack installed, you can go to plugins. Um, um, under this this icon here, then there's uh, AI style plugin. You can just click on that. Then there's a Vincent Van Gogh and also the Monet. There's kind of different types of the, the the painting style here, and you can simply just select each of them. So they will demonstrate how the the, the preview, like how how this kind of effect will be applied. As you, see, you can see from here, and you can also select another one with the potato eaters. So that shows the result. And once you 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 feel you, you you like it, you can select the source video. Okay, import the video from the media room, and I can select the one I just choose. All right, so now I just import the, the video here. Then it start to analyze and create this kind of AI style plugin. And now this is just a preview. And because the AI engine is, will do frame by frame. So whenever you go to another different kind of um, different time, the AI style will render again because each of the frame, they will draw different differently by time to time. So once you think, all right, this is the one I'm going to, you can go to select transform, transform video, or you can select another different kind of template and to see um, the, the different style you might want to use. And after you're done, you can just go select transform video. I'm not going to do it right now because I already rendered, because you'll take a bit time for the AI engine to, to render. So that's all the different packs you can use for the for the AI style. I think it's very amazing and also interesting because you can now you can change like every kind of your different footage. Maybe it's travel or it's, it's, it's a family video or even if you record your gaming video, you can transfer this kind of video into the kind of like a master artist effects like this. Okay, so and it's very easy to use as well because you can just import your video and select the different um, type, of, type of the template and different master style that you can apply and to your footage. Okay, so after this, now we're going to introduce um, how to use Express Project and also the Clutch Designer to create like an, a different animation and awesome video just in minutes. Just in case you don't want to spend um, a lot of time to edit your video. So this will help a lot. So I'm going to open another project. So the first tools we're going to introduce is uh, called Express Project. So this is the one we're going to create for today. Yeah. 
so they already have some animations from the from the opening and also you can replace the different text and also have some transition already building and that's the the the, the workflow for how we how we apply this kind of effect so how where do we find the express project when we go to the media room we click on the media content so now you can see at the bottom of this selection, you can find Express Project. And there's a bunch of different templates you can use. And you can also click on this one, then you will link, it, link you to the DZ, and you can have more template you can download from the website. For this, I'm going to use the moment in time, and I just download this from the DZ as well. And also, this says this kind of project, they have the opening and the middle and the, the end. So I will select the opening first. I will just simply drag them into the timeline. So now, now I have the first part is, uh, is the opening of this kind of express project. Then I can also put the middle, then the end. So, so now I already have these kind of old different videos template in, inside the timeline. So and next, we're going to use your own footage to fill in. I'm going to our media content. And when you scroll through, you can see now there's a number one here, which means this is the first part you need to insert your own footage. So I'm going to randomly select like this one. Now just drag them into the the number one space here. Then I can play again. So they would they were just applying to the, the first one. If you want to unstep, you can go to you can just undo again, then insert another video. Alright, then you, you you can also change the text. That will be uh, the different layers like we do from the like we did from the, the title designer. So you can double click, then you can change the text by your own self. So now this is where you can change the text, you can change the font and change the different design. Okay, then you can scroll to number two. So number two is where you can put your another video or even pictures you also you can, you can use to and this kind of express project. So I can just simply just drag all my footage. And we play again. So between the video, you already have some because certain a uh, very interesting interesting transition. And also the, the text you can also just change the text by your own self. Yeah, so this is all the different. If you if your video is not long long enough, you can just add more. Like you can just add few more, like in the middle or in the end or, or at the start. So that's how we use the Express project for create the kinds of videos, but just in very simple way in, in just a few minutes. And next thing we are going also show uh, we're going to show you also about how to use the clutch designer and also use the slideshow and it's also very easy to use. So let's say if you just maybe back from the holiday and back from your travel, you have a lot of different pictures you might want to use them and to create like a slideshow and this is how we're going to do it by power director so now we are in our media room here that i can select the, uh, the this different icon here to only shows the pictures i just import then i can select all the pictures and drag them into the timeline Then I can select all of them. 
Then in the middle of the port toolbox, you'll find this slideshow. Then you can click on the slideshow. And now you'll enter the slideshow creator. And you can select the different template. And maybe we'll try the clutch first. Then we can just go to next. Then you can just preview and just have a look. Right, if you think no, no, you you don't like this one, you can simply just go to previous and you can select another template. Then you can preview again. Then once your thing is done, you can go to next. Then we are going to and uh, do use use the advanced editing. Because we are going to maybe add another music or add another transition or add an opening title. So we're going to um, do some further editing. So now the, the video slideshow is done. It's very quick and very easy. So this is for the photo. So, but what about a video? Can we, can we use the photo collage to do the video as well? Yes, we can for the, um, with the PowerDirect 16. Uh, we can use the clutch designer and create this kind of certain effect. We can find the clutch designer, and if you go to the 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 plugin icon here, and here's where you can find the video clutch designer. And once you're inside the video clutch designer, there's already a different animated template you can choose um, we can support up to seven videos for this kind of different layout I'm going to choose maybe just one of them so select one of the template you're going to use you can simply just drag the video from the media room just drag all the video inside here then you can mute all the video and only shows maybe one of the one of the video and use that as a as a voice going to replace this one like this right then you can, you can also even trim the video inside the video cloud designer because maybe you want to start from here and put the end from here then you can click OK then just hit the play button so you have the preview setting like this once you import all the videos here you see you can change the different layout so you can maybe try maybe try this one and you can play it again now it's done it's already created very simple but very elegant design for the video collage here and if you want to do some advanced detail adjustment, you can change the size of the border and you can even change the color of the border. Then once you, you're done the editing, you can click OK. So that will generate another this kind of video clutch video like this. Yeah, so that's how we use the Express project and also the, the video clutch designer and with um, Power Director. Last but not least, uh, we are going to show you how to use Power Director to create a very smooth slow motion. And what's the concept of the slow motion is that I found this image from the auto demo and it's very well explained. So this is at the same one second duration. You can see this uh, 10 frames per second and that's 30 and that's 60. So like 60 FPS is definitely have more video content uh, within one second duration. And next we need to know what kind of project you, uh, setting you're going to edit because you can set your project setting to maybe 24 um, frames per second or 30 or even 60. We all know that 24 
frames per second is more like a filmy like. And next, we're going to decide what kind of frames your, your camera is going to shoot because your camera might uh, not only can shoot 24, they can also shoot 30 or maybe 100 or even more than 100. For example, like if your footage you shoot at 24 frames per second and you want to slow it down maybe half of the speed. So at the original footage, maybe five seconds, they can stretch to 10 seconds. But actually inside of the frame, we're down to 12 frame per second because you stretch, you just stretch the, the video. And the other hand, if you shoot like 120 uh, frames per second and you add it in the 24 frame uh, uh, FPS project, you can actually slow, slow down your footage to one fifth of the speed and the video will st still look very smooth. Let's see how, how it works. So to create a, a very smooth slow motion, it's very important to know what kind of um, FPS of your footage. When you inside the media room here, you can just right click and you can click on the view properties. And now you can see this footage was shot and the frame rate is 24 uh, frame per second. And also you can check another one and view properties. And this one you can see that's 120 um, frames per second. So I can close. So let's have a look on this video. So this video is 24 FPS. So if we try to stretch it, just maybe slow it down. Let's see how it looks like. So it looks like this. It's not smooth at all because this video doesn't um, have enough content of, of this, this frame rate. And on the other hand, this video was shot by um, 120 frames per second. I can just have a look. So that's from the original speed and turn into like this kind of very smooth, slow motion. So by understanding the, the FPS of your video, which can make you decide uh, like how much slow I can do for the video. Like, like if you do 60 frames per second of the video, you can maybe just do the half of the speed of the video, then it still looks very smooth. We can just import this video and let's have a look. And previously, we showed you how to do the slow motion by using tools and power tools. And this uh, uh, tools, you can change the video speed. But we are going to use another um, tools you can use. It's very useful. And you can go to tools as well and select the action camera center. With action camera, what's great about this tool is like you can create a time shift, but you can create a multiple time shift. Let's say you want to do from at the beginning, you can you want to play as the just no normal speed. From here, maybe just normal speed, but you can and start from this point and make them into like a slow motion. So you can uh, and just take on the apply speed effect and go to um, 0.2. Those, that's one, one fifth of the speed. You click enter. Then you can also take on easy and easy out. Then you can just, just pr and hit the playback Now you can see this from the original speed and turn them into a very small, slow motion effect. And you can click OK. So that's one of the best way to, to do a slow motion by using Action Camera Center because you can select a different range of the time shift and you can even create more to control the, the speed of your video. And by using the easy in and easy out, so that would turn the, this, this effect very smooth.
Okay, so that's one of the other great tools we can use to change your, the speed of your video. And also we need to know how slow can be for your video by knowing how much, uh, what kind of uh, frames per second of your video, video is. That will be all of the course for today. I hope you guys really find it very useful. If you need to learn more about PowerDirect, um, you can also visit our learning center. There are some um, a bunch of different tutorials you can watch and also some previous webinars and you can just visit our uh, learning center.